So we're going to Las Vegas, and this is important because um, we're basically going back, like Blackstone owns 42nd Street, basically where we did most of our learning here in Las Vegas, I mean New York, and they also own the Las Vegas Strip, a lot of the Las Vegas Strip, like Madison Sons and all those tourist traps. Very, very interesting. I don't know why. Yeah, I have to say but that. No, they're all the same. Uh, yeah, it's all the same. Oh yeah, it's all the same. It's like it's like it's all being it's all the same thing. It's like like no one gives a shit about the tourists anymore. It's one fucking di it's one dude who owns owns a bunch of you know Ria, like, like like Highgate, but they own like Madame Tussauds. They own all those. I can't remember the other stuff, but all the stuff on the strip that's here. Oh yeah, they even have uh, uh, Dave and Buster's here, and they got that in Vegas now. Right, and I, and I think what they do is they, they they just they put these deals together because they have relationships with these lame companies. Mm -hmm. That for some reason, that they just sucker the tourists. Well, and we didn't know all of the strip clubs are the same. They have um, S Sapphire here, and they have. Oh yeah, uh, they, so it's like interesting. This is like a mini. Oh, they have Hakkasan here. They have the club. Yeah, they have Hakkasan. They here. have um, the uh, Marquee. It's all this. It's like Vegas and New York are like, like they try to mirror each other, but um, Vegas wins. I think you go in those bags. Yeah. Remember? Your hard drives had to go as a carry-on. Remember, we have to deal with all that when we go through. Remember the hard drive thing? Hopefully they won't make it. That was a bigger deal in Panama, but I don't remember if they made a big deal. Let me do this. Oh, this has to be, Oh, that can go in the tripod bag now. Oh, we can put those in the tripod bag now. For when we um, go on the plane. We're going to be pushing it again. Is that tripod for the... <laughs> You know, we'll have to see if we can bring both lights or not. If both lights fit in that bag, we can bring them. But if they don't, we might have to leave one light. Because the lights are kind of heavy. But if they both fit in that tripod bag, you can bring them. Okay. But I don't think we should have it in the suitcase. Because, man. We can try and weigh this up. I don't think you can weigh it on this scale. Unless you held the bags. You'd have to hold, you'd have to stay on the scale, get your weight. And then sit on the scale with the bag, maybe. You have a hole in the back. Uh, we can see when we're in storage. So Joy says we can't bring these on the plane. Or they'll make us pay. So we have to leave all of our hair stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. That stuff for sure. Because that's, like, heavy. <laughs> and we have a weight thing. And, I mean, I'd love to take that stuff because it's a lot of... It's expensive and you know, all that stuff. We're leaving a lot of things. Just wait till we get to start. Okay, I'm going to uh, scoop all this. Okay. Off the all right. Here. I'm bringing that with All right. We are leaving New York City. It's been almost a year, almost exactly. It's like a week shy of a year. And we would have done a full year, except for that it's better to get to Vegas during March than April, because we got here April 1st. That's why we had stayed in uh, Vegas through March, got here April 1st. So now we're going to try to get the last couple of weeks of, or the last, more like a week and a half, really, of March. But... I, I, you know, I want to say I'm sad, you know, I mean, there's like a twinge of like, because I really, really wanted it to work here, but I think I'm actually just relieved <laughs> at the end of the day, you know what I mean, that we're leaving. It's, it's been the most insane year, and we can never explain it even, they couldn't even really fully explain it in a movie, because you actually had to be in our bodies to know what we went through, like, because even if you watched it, you wouldn't even understand. Like, it's like, it's such an insane amount of stuff we went through. Like, the only people that know are me and Jai Rich, which is kind of crazy. Like, some of the, like, like, it's insane. Some of the things we went through here, like, just the ups and downs and the running around and the, the I mean, in the, in moving and like moving sometimes every other, every day. And it's just, no one could even like comprehend what that felt like, even if you saw it in a movie. So, we are going back to Vegas, like, as true adults. <laughs> I mean, this was insane. We, like, our life experience is, like, in one year, our life experience is, like, more than most people would achieve in a, in a, in a hundred years. And we experienced it in one year. Like, it was crazy. So what you're saying is that you've experienced growth. I realize, like how immature I even was when we were in Vegas. I mean, I, I fondly look on it because I was naive and now I feel like I'm like old and like like too wise where I'm like, oh, can't be all lighthearted now. But I definitely see where I was a fool about a lot of things. 
where I feel a lot, a lot wiser now. Where you're like, oh, okay, I see why that wasn't allowed or something like that. Like some of the things we did on social media and stuff. You go, okay, I could see. You know, like I'm like a little more wise to the way it goes around the world. Thank you. Almost forgot your money, your MTA card, which that's a souvenir. Be calm. Man, I'll just go to the surgeon. No, I'm very good. Could be a second. I got all this shit on it. I'm about to leave all my stuff, but guess what? It's all gifts. From Manhattan. But I wanted to take them with me. That's why I was reluctant to get the girl back. Because it does make you look like a redneck. And you have to um, get a bellman. Because we can't get all this and carry that girl. Right now, we can literally carry in one trip all of our stuff out the door. But the girl cannot. The girl two trips. Cannot. Yeah, two, two trips. No, one time I dropped it. We got three bags that we're wearing right now. You want any of this? And yeah, we just have a lot of that stuff. There's nothing we have to, we have to keep minimizing. No, there's nothing left in the room. We got everything. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm actually really happy. I mean, I feel. Alright, nobody has to do this. Alright, Jackson and Dixon. I don't know. I feel like the idea of being in Manhattan. I love that you can walk everywhere. I love the business. And the buildings are beautiful. When it's beautiful, we need to live here. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's tiring, it's stressful, it's exhausting, it's ripped off all the time. Everything's kind of crappy, you know, it's nice. It's like, like if you're at a building, there's always something wrong with it, whether it be like the water or the heat or the staff, or you can get trapped in a basement or the elevators. Or the you know, it's just always something and you just accept it and then Trash is always an issue, and the mail is always an issue, and delivery is always a pain in the butt. And it's just, oh, everything is a pain in the butt. But things are close, you can walk to things, but only when it's nice out do you want to walk. When it's like between like November to like March, you don't really want to walk anywhere. Like, it's just like... Like I want to feel sad, I mean I do a little bit, but if anything I just feel really good right now, like I feel really good, I can breathe for the first time, and I just feel like thankful to be going back to Vegas, like I don't feel like, oh wow, sad, I feel like I'm like, it'd be nice if we leave a little more money. I didn't want to leave, and I don't want to think it's hard to describe, but once you go, you just feel like you can finally have a breath of air again, because you feel like you're suffocating while you're here, you just feel like you're always underwater, you can never get ahead, you're always like trying to swim upstream, you're always swimming upstream, and that's a good analogy, you're just constantly swimming upstream, and you're just like, man, if I just went the other way, it'd be so much easier. But you can't, you know what I mean? Like, like if I just, you know, went to Vegas, it'd be so much easier. But you're like, no, 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 this is fun. Let me keep swimming for sure. Because I'm in Manhattan. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, I could just be like cruising on the river. Look at that, guys. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, so 
the best milkshakes ever. Yeah. Okay, so this is our last time at the storage unit. She wants to take photos of the storage unit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wait, did we bring the little uh, Manfredo? Okay, cool. Right, okay, I'm gonna put set it up and I'll, 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 I'll time lapse it again. That was cool when you did that one. Time. Mm. Okay. Now I'm gonna pause this right now, okay? So clip it right here. Because it's just between me and my wife. But look. Do you remember when we first started getting high here? Yeah. We were like talking to our future selves. Mm. Uh -huh. Like, oh my god, look at our future self, look how cool we are. We kind of tell us And then do you remember, like, for the last two months, we haven't seen them? <laughs> like, I haven't really said, hell, there's our future self. First of all, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't look like what my future self looked like, right? So that, that didn't help. But, okay, what I'm saying right now is, is, is okay. Because, you know, Jenna Rich, you know, you know, really fucking persevered with his damn diet. He was able to kind of. Get that. Anyway, so how you future self again? Can you feel, can you see you're getting a little bit coming too? Because we're going, even though we're going to, we're going to Las Vegas, which is, we're, we're going to time travel today, right? Because we're going to a three hour different time zone. And we're also going fast. The beef should be really good. And I got a little bit of something out of New York that's about it. This guy. <sighs> oh right, okay. oh good. You'll, you'll love that in Vegas, actually. Shit, we should have kept those white. I should have kept the other stuff. Actually, those were the size. Not from 